Hi, I'm Darrell. I'm the lead tutor here at Cape Fear Community College Wilmington campus. And today I would like to explain to you the concept of the mole. No, not that kind of a mole. A mole is a number, a unit of measure. It is a number we use to describe sets of tiny, tiny things like atoms or molecules. For instance, a couple means two things. A dozen means 12 things, like a dozen donuts. A score means 20 things. So a score of cars would be 20 cars. A mole is 602.2 sextillion things. That is 602 followed by 21 zeros. That is a huge number. Or we can write 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23rd power for short. This is called Avogadro's number. No, not avocado, Avogadro. So the mole is just another way to group a number of things. Like if I have a dozen donuts, I have 12 donuts. If I have a mole of donuts, I have 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23rd power of donuts. A lot of donuts. In chemistry, we typically don't talk about donuts. The things we talk about are atoms and molecules. Consider a safety pin. How many atoms do you think could fit on the point of this safety pin? 1,000? 100,000? Believe it or not, it's actually 5 trillion atoms. That would be 5 followed by 12 zeros. Whoa, that's a lot of atoms. Because there are so many atoms and molecules in such a small space, we use the mole as a convenient way to talk about them. For example, consider this glass of water. Your standard glass of water is approximately 100 milliliters. It contains roughly 3.35 times 10 raised to the 24 water molecules. That is H2. Oh, large numbers like this are difficult to work with individually, so we condense them into this number called Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number allows us to go from a whole bunch of zeros to single numbers in moles. For example, consider this. If we have 3.35 times 10 raised to the 24 water molecules, we can divide Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23rd molecules per mole, into that number. And what we would get is that there are approximately 5.56 moles of water. This is how we convert large numbers like molecules and atoms into single numbers like moles. There. Avogadro's number is a better way to work with math mathematically lots of tiny, tiny atoms and molecules in physics and in chemistry. Stop by the Science Learning Lab in N407 to learn more. See you soon.